Relaxation Coaching, and today I want to talk about haters in your business. Uh, whether this is criticism, haters, however you want to say it, uh, this can be really scary, especially for those of us in the wellness field, because we can be a little bit sensitive at times. And right off the bat, I want to talk about a great quote that I found from Zig Ziglar, and what he says is, don't be distracted by criticism. Sometimes the only taste of success that some people get is when they take a bite out of you. I just love that one. Uh, it was a great, great quote that I found. And criticism from haters is oftentimes just a reflection of themselves or their current state of mind. And it's so critical to be a positive light in your business and have a positive attitude uh, in presenting yourself as such. No one wants to hang out with grumpy, critical people. So if you find yourself being a hater, uh, just stop it. Stop it right now. It doesn't serve anyone, and it doesn't belong in business, and the only thing it serves is your ego, and your ego does not belong in business. So now if you have encountered uh, a hater yourself, you need to assess what the critic is saying. Maybe they're saying something about your prices. Maybe they're saying something about your service or your atmosphere of your office, whatever it is. Maybe they're saying something about you in general. You really need to assess and not take it personally and say, what is this person saying? Do I need to improve on something and move forward? Because always listening to your customers and clients and colleagues is a way that you can make your business better. Uh, I'm always, always, always grateful to uh, friends and family, colleagues and clients that always point things out to me because that means that they are noticing what I'm doing and I can move forward in my business. Uh, and it's, it's a help and it becomes, it makes me become a better friend, woman, and massage therapist and business no owner in general. So you can encounter criticism, just like I said, from clients and from colleagues. If you find that uh, the criticism is coming from a place of disdain, maybe uh, hatred, or a mean girl attitude, then that you need to just brush off your shoulders, my friend, and move on. That is not helpful for anyone. Um, I've heard this same exact advice from millionaire entrepreneurs such as uh, Sandy Krakowski, Mar uh, Marie Forleo, Fabienne Fredrickson, Derek Helper, and Christine Gallagher. They all play a bigger game in business, and that's what you should strive for. You should not get in the nitty-gritty uh, mind, you know, of what's going on with what your hater is saying. Also, a great tip is to have a posse around you that really loves and supports you, and is going to encourage you. Um, it's imperative to have that so that you can propel your business to the next level. And making a bigger impact on others is really the key, isn't it? Don't be bogged down by the small haters, you know. Lift yourself up with those that are where you want to be and always have a goal in mind. This is why I'm never without a coach or a mastermind program. Uh, this always has helped me further my business whether it's my massage therapy practice or my coaching business. I always have someone that I am looking to for help and encouragement and telling me what step do I need to do next. So people will criticize you. Expect this, actually, and you are taking a big leap in business. Uh, maybe your hair looks a mess or your logo's funny, fuzzy <laughs> or funny, uh, and maybe your website is a, is a free website instead of a paid website. Maybe you have a blog that you do not, um, you know, it's like on blog, blogger.com or something like that. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You are trying to build a bigger business and make a bigger impact. And as long as you have that in mind, you will go far. And one last thing I want to tell you is that I really am here to support you and help you. And anything that you might need or uh, that you're dealing with, I want to hear about that. So in the comments below, please let me know uh, what one positive com comment you have given a client or a colleague or a client or colleague has given you that has really resonated with you 
that we can share with others and build them up as well. So <clears throat> let's support one another, okay, and, and, and really get to know each other on an intimate level. So this is Kristen Tamaro of Relaxation Coaching, and you can find out more information at relaxationbusinesscoaching.com if you're seeing this on YouTube. And if you're on the blog itself, then please go in the comments below and let us know. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.